going to introduce you to your project three, the Trump lawyer painting today. Um, I hope everyone is doing well and staying healthy and safe um, as we are continuing social distancing. I'm happy that I can continue to teach you at a distance. Um, okay, so as far as the Trump Loy painting goes, I have made a description handout. It's um, posted on our Facebook group page as well as on iCollege. So please make sure to go over the sheet before you start brainstorming. I also require you to read one article that I have written on the sheet before you start the project. Okay, it um, explains to you about the historical background of Trump Loy painting and some strategies that the artists have been using to create the Trump Loy painting. Um, Trump Loy in French um, translates to to fool the eye. So it's um, um, a visual deception that's taken to an extreme to um, trick the eye, meaning that the details, the um, the details of the painting and the hyperrealism is one part, or one important part of this genre. But there are some other strategies that the reading talks about that you can employ, and I specifically wanted you to um, include. Um, one intrusions device, um, which could include um, small things like a fly, frame, um, tape, nails, and certain things which intrude into the flat plane, the picture plane of your painting, and create additional depth. Okay, so I hope you read about it, and um, if you have any questions as you're brainstorming, feel free to let me know. Okay, um, as far as um, painting at home goes, it might be difficult. I understand that you might not have all the materials that you need. Um, so if you would like to discuss with me um, what you could do, um, if you don't have all your materials, please write me an email and I will respond to you right away. Um, I'm, I'm sure you don't have a glass palette at home like we used to at school and you can get really creative with your surface like paint mixing surface but what I like to do is like I have a lot of old magazines um, which works really well for you know squeezing out your paint and color mixing so what I do is I try to find kind of like a neutral color, like a gray. Gray color is really good for color mixing. And then you can mix your paint on it and throw it out after you're done. Um, you don't have to clean up your Gamso container after each use because um, the paint particles settle down after each use. So when you're ready to use it again for the next section, you should have clear Gamsol liquid on the top um, and this Gamsol should last you for a few months. Um, I think you can use the same Gamsol um, for the rest of the semester as you finish this course. Uh, however, when you're ready to um, dump this liquid out and clean your container um, before you re refill the Gamsol, what I recommend you to do is um, um, not to dump this out in your sink because this is bad for the environment and your plumbing system. Um, so instead, um, what I want you to do is wear gloves to protect your skin. Take out the coil, the silicone coil, take it out, and then um, you should have like a really gunky liquid in here. Um, so use your rag or paper towel to just take out all the liquid and um, gunky particles from the jar. Um, so um, what basically what you're doing is like letting the cloth soak out everything until your container is empty and clean. And with your soaked rag and paper towel, you can just put it in a trash bag and throw it away. Okay. Okay. So for this project, you have uh, about two weeks, four painting sessions. Um, until April 8th and that's when I want you to take a good image of your painting under a, a good daylight and um, 
post the image on Facebook um, with caption. Um, and I will make sure to give you feedbacks to Facebook and um, that's a good way of sharing your piece with your classmates and we can continue interacting and give each other feedback while we are learning from a distance. Um, so what I wanted to tell you is make the size manageable for your schedule, okay? You don't have to make a big painting. Um, you can make a small painting depending on which object you're working on. Um, Okay, so that's all I wanted to say. Um, what else? Um, and I'm going to now share my um, demo piece of the Trump Lloyd painting project. Um, I have edited the video so that um, they're sectioned out into different parts and I have tagged um, the time corresponding to the sections below. So if you want to revisit a section or um, skip through a section and move on to another section, you can just use the time link that I tagged below to uh, move around the video. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy this project. I look forward to seeing your project. Um, and I miss you all. Bye.